With the push to expand vaccinations for Oregonians underway every day, there are both signs of hope and frustration. Let's begin with the hope. This chart from the Oregon Health Authority shows Johnson & Johnson's single-shot vaccine will skip Oregon both this week and next and then pour into the state at a rate of 80,000 doses a week beginning March 22nd. That will take the weekly total to above 209,000 doses. Oregon Health Authority leader Patrick Allen said it could significantly move up timelines. He showed lawmakers this chart last week during a virtual meeting. The gold line is 70 percent of the adult population, the black line 100 percent of the adult population in Oregon. Based on current federal forecasts of vaccine received, we should actually be at a place at April 21st where we would have received enough vaccine to, uh, to hit 70 percent of the adult population and by, um, as the president said yesterday, the end of May, 100 percent of the adult population. Currently, anyone 45 and older in Oregon will be eligible for the COVID vaccine June 1st, but that may change. This will likely allow us to um, accelerate the timelines for different categories that we talked about in the press conference with the governor last week. Um, but candidly, I would like to get a little bit further through the senior population before I start talking about any other populations. In the meantime, the frustration comes with the new link being sent to seniors who are picked at random for the convention center vaccine clinic. Some, like Kim Floystead, signed up to be notified, but in the meantime found a shot on her own. And now she cannot cancel the one being held for her. It says right in the invitation that it will be held for me till about 2.15 this coming Saturday. And it's like, I don't need it now. And it's tied up all that time for somebody, I mean, for as short supply as it is and as desperate as people are to get it, that's insane. Petty Stuckey ran into a similar issue. I'd like to be able to cancel it so someone else could, could have the slot. She got her husband an appointment at the convention center, then found him a shot at her nearby pharmacy even sooner. So Danny's already gotten his shot, his first shot at the pharmacy. But Correct. in addition to that, he has an appointment for the convention center this week. Correct. And, and in addition to that, you just got an email saying, log in, and now you've won the lottery, you can get an appointment. Correct. Wow. I know. You would think in the year 2021, the computers could talk to each other and know who has received a shot. And if that's not possible, you'd think there would be a simple button that says cancel to let organizers know you don't need it. And you would be wrong. It's baffling for folks like Petty Stuckey, who recently retired from a high-tech job that involved lots and lots of computers. So you're not intimidated by computer systems? No, sir. They, they piss me off sometimes, but... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've had a few emails along those lines the last couple of days. Yeah, I talked with Legacy. They're the ones behind that custom link that's being sent out now to seniors. They say, sorry, there is no way to cancel or delete, no way for you to let them know that you don't need that appointment. They said after five days, though, it will move on to somebody else and the shot will not be wasted. In Northeast Portland, Pat Doris, KGW News.